Carrie Lake beat the living heck out of Ruben Gallego in a recent debate. How did she do it? Oh, she quoted his own words back to him. Welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm Doug Tenapel. This is where the happy patriots are. And we got our start. One of our big pumps that we got back in the day was by covering Carrie Lake. So it's great to check in on her. We, we predicted she would run for the Senate before anyone else did. We were number one. We, we were covering all of that stuff. I saw this coming from my way. It is important that she win the Senate race, guys. People in Arizona, this is a down ballot, down ticket, down ballot race. Don't jack Carrie Lake. We need her in the Senate bad. Here she is in the debate. I've been to the border more times than you've been to Arizona. That's one of the things with the Senate is when you go up to the Senate, are you going to stay up in Washington or is she going to come back to Arizona to listen to her constituents? You know, where do you go? Is she in this just to go make a big play up in Washington, D.C.? Let's hope that she keeps coming back to Arizona to listen to the people for the Senate. She's got a white Ruben, Ruben Gallego who's soft on the border. Arizona, you're right on the border. Bunch of stupid Californians move into that state, you liberals. And now you're voting for an open border. You know what they're going to do? You know what they're going to do to your neighborhood, your daughters, your schools, your health care? You better wake up. Okay. Arizona's going to get hurt. You we, have we are, heard Arizona. I've this, been this to the like, border we've, we've more given you times. a chance on this. We're gonna I've change, been to the we border to more topic. times than you've probably okay. been to Arizona. Oh, ouch. Arizona, do you want a border wall? Vote for Carrie Lake. You don't want a border wall? Okay, vote for Ruben Gallego. And while you're at it, take the fences down from around your property and unlock all your doors, moron. I just jotted down uh, Ruben's exact quote. He called it the dumb, stupid border wall. Just six months into this administration, it's already abundantly clear that Mexico won't pay for Trump's stupid, dumb border wall. We must not allow precious resources to be robbed from our troops simply to score political points for Trump's ego. He wrote an op-ed that said why we should never build Trump's wall ever. Yeah, it's true. Trump was the first one. The wall didn't get built by anybody else. And we've been saying it for 20 years, guys. I used to listen to the Hugh Hewitt show in the early 2000s. You know what he would say? Hey, Republicans, shut your mouth and build the wall. That didn't come until... Trump came close to it. He built part of it, not enough of it, frankly. And that's why Ann Coulter got so mad at him. Ann Coulter like turned her back on him because he didn't finish the wall. He had like one job. This time he's doing the wall. I think he learned his lesson, guys. So we're getting the extreme makeover version of Ruben tonight. Ruben has voted against border security every step of the way. Remember, I, w I covered the state for 27 years. I was in your home. And all that time we watched this career politician said they were going to secure the border and give us border security. And they never did until President Trump, Trump came along. Yeah, every Democrat stood against it. They politicized it. And some Republicans, you know, the squishes, you know, they're all oh, fiscally. We can't shut down the government and give Trump his border wall. You know what I mean? I think it's a new game now. Now that they saw what happened with no border wall, what happened over the last four years? Uh, it's time to build a wall. And actually secured the border, but he had to do it with one hand tied behind his back because people like my opponent were fighting him every step of the way, would not give a penny for that border wall. Yeah, now this is only science to a Democrat. Only a Democrat doesn't understand that where there's a wall, the people in general don't come through. Where there's a gap, people go through there. You know, I, I, I feel bad for the voters we have to explain this to. No wonder why you're voting for Kamala Harris is all I can say. That border wall keeps us safe. We've seen it here in Arizona because we've seen those areas where the border wall is there and people aren't coming through. Where there are gaps in it, people are pouring through. Now, all the crime coming up there, Arizona. Guys, keep voting. Keep voting for Kamala Harris as pro-crime. Keep voting for Ruben Gallego is a vote for crime not to hit someone else's backyard, but to hit your backyard, to hit your family. Think about it. You'll regret it. You'll go, what did I do? We need Carrie Lake. I also like the tone of this debate between Gallego and Carrie Lake. It's a little more gentle and soft-spoken. I, you know, I, I haven't seen that in a while. I kind of like it. So hats off to both of them for that. Ruben Gallego has supported every step of the way Kamala Harris, the border czar, and Joe Biden's open border policy, which has ushered in 20 million people illegally, including more than 400,000 convicted criminals, and they've done nothing to secure the border. Now, all the crime coming up there, Arizona. Guys, keep voting. Keep voting for Kamala Harris as pro-crime. Keep voting for Ruben Gallego is a vote for crime, not to hit someone else's backyard, but to hit 
your backyard to hit your family. Think about it. You'll regret it. You'll go, what did I do? We need Carrie Lake. I also like the tone of this debate between Gallego and Carrie Lake. It's a little more gentle and soft spoken. I, I, you know, I, I haven't seen that in a while. I kind of like it. So hats off to both of them for that. The only piece of legislation that Mr. Gallego has put forth was not about border security. It was about removing the word illegal alien from anything in the federal government paperwork. He's more worried about semantics than our security. Not just semantics, that's censorship. It's doublespeak, it's Orwellian doublespeak because it's actually false um, to remove illegal aliens is what they are. They want, they want to put a migrant in there as if just people are moving for no reason. It's an immigrant, an immigrant, and they're illegal. It's not legal to do that, okay? Go try and walk across France without a pa passport. Go walk into France and they won't let you in there. It's illegal. So she's actually being honest. Ruben Gallego is being dishonest. And right now we know that we have terrorists that are coming through. We're worried about a potential terrorist attack on our home soil. They've been coming through the border. They have an estimated amount of them. That's not made. That's not a conspiracy. That's a fact. We want to be able to go for a jog in the morning like Lake and Riley did. and not. OK, I can't finish that sentence because of what happened to Lake and Riley. Whoever did not uh, go for a vote for a border and, and whoever will not vote for Carrie Lake, you know, the, the, get used to this stuff. And we're not safe because of the people that have come in. Ruben Gallego has empowered the cartels. I want to finish the border wall. On day one, my first piece of legislation will be to fully fund and expedite the construction of the border wall. It's unfortunate we already paid for the construction materials to do that. But Ruben Gallego and Kamala Harris, have a, they sold that $325 million, rather, of border material for pennies on the dollar. They gave it away. Yeah, they dumped it. What an embarrassment. Hold on. I've got a few more interesting factoids here. This is the Saturday Night Live actor Rob Schneider making copies. Hey, Arizona, my friend Carrie Lake was absolutely fantastic tonight in her debate with Ruben Gallego, who voted 100% of the time with the Biden-Harris. Please vote for Carrie for the U.S. Senate. She will be great for all of us. I agree. Here's uh, Carolyn Wren. We are 45 minutes into the debate here, and the two texts I've received from McCain Republicans who support the Carrie Lake's primary opponents, they said Carrie Lake is crushing the debate. Arizona Republicans are united against Ruben Gallego. And here's two of those texts. I bet Ruben is wishing he hadn't agreed to this debate. She is really exposing him with his record, to his record. Okay, Caroline, she's convinced me. Carrie has my vote. Tell her to keep this up. Ruben is terrible. I just want you guys to think about Ruben. His name sounds like rubble. And that's what Arizona is going to be left to. Here's Caitlyn Jenner from the Wheaties box. Ex-Olympic athlete, Caitlyn Jenner. My friends in Arizona, please consider supporting Carrie Lake for U.S. Senate. Her opponent is a radical who has been on the job for 10 years. Time to change. Vote for an upstanding Arizonan, Carrie. Arizona, we're counting on you. I'm Doug in exile. If you, su if you support Carrie Lake, let us know in the comments below. We're still on Team Carrie. I'm Doug in exile.